Hey guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. Check out my new ride. Lunker's got a tank too. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. If you watch the channel, you have known that it's been time to let my baby go for a really long time. There's a lot of problems with her. She's uh, 17 years old now and not reliable. Needs all new tires. Doesn't start every time. Leaks fluids from pretty much anywhere you can leak fluids from. Not worth selling. So I've been looking for a really epic way to destroy my old truck. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. Very cool game on all platforms where you can drive tanks, play against your friends, play against people all over the world. World of Tanks also has a special promo code in the description below. There's a link and you guys get a bunch of free stuff if you use that. And they are the ones who are making this whole video possible, making it possible for me to send my old truck out in a big way. We have the truck set up now on the range. Just remembering how many good times I've had with this truck. And I won't ever have that again. My truck off in the distance, it's about 150 yards. And uh, we should have, a, should have a tank arriving pretty quickly. <laughs> hey, Mayor. Hey. Be right back, just gotta go to the grocery store. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's just the coolest thing I've ever seen. I know you guys think we're gonna run over my truck with a tank, but instead we're just gonna run over this Coke can. I can't even do that. <laughs> yeah! Look, look, that's my truck. One thing that I never realized is, I mean, I figured, but I never realized how tight it was in these things. Like, it is not easy to get around in here. Ugh. Like, right, I mean, like, I feel like even if I wasn't in a tank battle, I'd probably die just from bouncing around in here. There's nothing that's not sharp. Everything's sharp and hard. If you fell over, you're definitely gonna get hurt. This tank, we're going to fire in just a few minutes. I've never fired a tank. I've actually never touched a tank before today. And I'm gonna fire this, and it's gonna be awesome. Look at the freaking plows on this thing. These things are for landmines. It just goes and digs up, and they explode way out here and not, you know, under the tank. Look at this. These guys just have giant tanks everywhere. Also, Creepy Cooter's military brother is here. Hey, bud. Ooh, I see crosshairs. Yeah, it's a little 50 cal, isn't it? That's cool. All the guns on all these tanks are functional. The main cannons are functional. The 50 cals are functional. The 30 cals are functional. They all fire. This is a totally real tank. It's not like a museum tank that's decommissioned. These are legit tanks that we're sitting in, that we're playing in. We're like a bunch of freaking 15 year olds. I'm just trying to figure out how to open this main gun. Tearing up a tank. What are you trying to do? I'm gonna open up the main gun. I'm gonna load, load the cannon. Oh, there it is. I don't wanna pull him. Pull it. <laughs> <laughs> Getting smoked out. First things first, about to take this tank for a little test drive. This is a Chieftain, big, big tank. There's a big old break in the middle if okay. anything starts moving without your permission. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, this is tight. Some tiny people rode in this thing. Oh yeah, man. I'm all cramped up down in here. We have shifter over here, we have a brake, we have gas pedal over there. We have track controls on both sides of me. Super tight. the range we have two tanks and my truck off in the distance Lunkers and I are both gonna fire a shell at my truck straight through the engine bay ideally if we can hit it these are not explosive shells they're just solid steel so they're armor penetrating shells they should go very deep into that truck and I've never seen a tank fire so I'm very excited about this so for safety reasons we're not gonna be firing inside the tanks because if the round backfires, it would kill everyone inside right, the tank. Yeah. So we're firing outside. Here's what we're shooting. 
giant solid steel projectile. That's the actual projectile we're gonna be shooting. That's 15 cool. pounds. Of We aimed a little high and went through the roof. Let me see. I can't believe that. I can't believe that just. <laughs> well, Matt, you kind of missed the engine block, buddy. Yeah, first try. We have one more shot. And I would really like, and you're going to do it, and I'd really like it to go straight through the engine block. I emptied everything out of this truck, I thought. I forgot and left my nice sunglasses in the sunglass holder. That round went straight through the sunglass holder and killed him. Range is hot. Three, two, one, hot. You nailed it. You did it good. You nailed it. Projectile. Where is it laying in the dirt? Awesome! Straight through that bumper. It's pretty warm. Oh. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's warm. It's messed up too. Look at that dent. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Giant hook of just metal. <laughs> yeah, it's like bottom of the transmission over here. Oh man, it ripped that transmission right open. That's what I said. It, there's, a, there, there's a reason that thing didn't keep going. It, it hit solid. Yeah, it went through... Did you do that to that scale? It went through the, the transaxle for the four-wheel drive and then straight into the transmission. That's actually a good spot to hit it. Solid. Wait, can I work out with it? It hit the engine too. I mean, it's dumping oil out of the pan there. You curling? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's 15 right there. Oh my god. 15 pounds. Oh. <laughs> Did it feel good? Oh, I got hit with glass. <laughs> feel manly now. Mayor, would you like to bust a window? <laughs> I'm very excited about seeing Mayor expel some anger on this truck. <laughs> I, I'm betting she misses the window though. <laughs> she does? She's totally gonna miss. <laughs> you, you, you did hit the truck. <laughs> it didn't do bad to the truck. <laughs> I mean, the tank missed the first couple of shots too, so. <laughs> oh my god. You throw like a girl. Put your back into it. <laughs> That's a sturdy window. This is better footage than the tank. <laughs> the actual tank. Than the tank. <laughs> Yay! She did it! Bunkers is such a hooligan. So, we shot a round. It went through the four-wheel drive unit, into the transmission, and knocked off our mufflers and catalytic converters. And uh, then it stopped. We found it underneath. But we didn't really destroy the truck. I mean, it's definitely not going to run. It's totaled now. We have one more thing we want to do. This should destroy it. Destruction 2, if you go check out World of Tanks, they made all this possible. This truck 
and seen better days. From this side, it doesn't look too bad. When you come to the other side, the side that we ran over, it looks, it looks a little sad. Cool. <laughs> Be surprised these tires didn't blow. They're pretty bald. And that truck, I mean that tank, weighs 60 tons. And we had half of its weight on this. So there's 30 tons on top of this truck. And the tires still look great. It got a little bent and a little flattened. What's cool about this though is you can just walk right up into the bed of the truck and then come right up into the cab. You can walk over. Oh, my seat. Actually, that's a headliner. It's up here on the hood. Whoa. Man, my grill guard fell off. Safe to say, this truck is not doing well. It's a little sickly. But, Lunkers! I don't know about you, but I wouldn't... I feel like we could do more. Yeah, I think we should blow it up. Like, we should blow this yeah. truck up, right? Someone still could theoretically put some effort and some elbow grease into this and make it run again. Yeah, I don't want anyone dollars. ever driving a truck that was mine. That was my truck, no one else's. They're putting C4 in my truck. Only a couple pounds, which is not a ton, but it's a lot more than a couple pounds of tannerite. And I've never blown up anything besides tannerite, so I'm excited to see some C4 and see what it does to that truck. I hope it doesn't scratch the paint. Ready? Three, two, one, fire in the hole! Sweet. Let's go check it out. Oh. The last of the tank and everything else. Yeah, no, I thought. A little smoky in here. Yeah, sometimes they catch fire. <laughs> it just took the top of the hood off. That's what flew over there. Yeah, there's a piece of it over there, too. And... <laughs> well, it took the whole top of the engine off. Yes, really. it did. These tires are still good. Will you guys take these tires off with me? I'll take them home. Just one last time, me and the old girl. Oh, there's glass everywhere. This will be my last drive with the old GMC. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video. I've been wanting to do something really epic to send this truck out of the world and I think this was a good way to do it. So go check them out. Link in the description. I played the game and it is a really fun game. And uh, if you use our code, you get some free stuff. So thanks and go check out Turkla, Lunkers TV. GMC, one note to GMC. I am worried about your safety equipment because I just noticed that neither of the airbags in this truck blew. Maybe, maybe it just needed to be hit harder. <laughs> That's Mayor riding in the tank. Up on top. Please review all options before selecting. If you are calling to report an auto claim, press 1 now. For all other... All representatives are currently busy. Please hold and the next available representative will assist you. Good evening, this is Judith Bills. How can I help you? Hi, um, I have a question. My um, okay. my vehicle was was shot by a tank and run over by one, and I was just wondering if that would be covered. By a tank? Did you say? Yeah, like a military tank, a chief. Really? A chieftain, to be exact. Yes, ma'am. And it was shot too. Yeah, shot twice. Where are you at? Are you in Texas? Yeah, we were in Texas. <laughs> wow, um, that's the first for me to hear that. <laughs> That's, were you in it? I was not in it, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank God. Unbelievable. Uh, what we can do, uh, my goodness, that kind of threw me. Uh, we could put the claim in. I could do a claim on it. Okay. Uh, but we're actually we're actually a third-party uh, reporting service. Yeah. So being able to pull up your policy to see what's covered, if it's covered or not, that I cannot do. Um, they can do that in the morning after 8 a.m. Okay. Should, um, should I just but call? that I won't be able to do. Should, so. I, should I call back tomorrow? I would say so because they might. Do you, was it the military that did it? No, it's just some guy. <laughs> really? My goodness. I know, right? Yeah. I, yeah. It's a, it, it, did you did you get insurance? Do you know who it is? Yeah, we got his insurance. 
Robert Turkle. Oh, okay. Robert yeah, Tur you might, Robert you might want to do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you might want to do that in the morning and see, because they may, they, they may want to file it under his insurance. Yeah. Okay. Thank you yeah. very much for your time. All right. All right. Get out of that area. I know. Get away I from that. Guy. I need to just get out of there. <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I uh, thought maybe you were calling me from Afghanistan or something. <laughs> you know? Uh, no, that, this is Texas. Wow, we. Well, all right. Well, you stay safe. All right, you too. Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, same to you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. All right, bye bye now. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> she bought it everything. <laughs> Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad car? Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish.